Hey guys, Dinsy here, and you're watching Arm Bad TV with some gameplay footage of Unexplored. Came out of Alexis on Steam today, the 22nd of February. I'm not sure how long it was in Alexis, but it's already very positive, so I guess they're doing something right. I think it's kind of a roguelike. I think they explained how the dungeons are generated like cyclic. Procedural instead of just procedural, which is basically trees when you use a normal procedural. Instead, they, instead of trees, they make cycles. And when you get the key, they sh usually a shortcut to the end or something. I don't know. Um, for some reason, pressing F11 makes the game go from window to full screen. I don't think it uses Unreal Engine, but that baffles me why people leave this shit in the games. Anyway, let's do the tutorial, see what this all about. Daily Dungeon, Weekly Dungeon, in-game leaderboards. I press tutorial. Oh my god, what happened? There we go. Okay. Use the mouse to look around. Press what's the keys or the arrows to move. You can also press space to move your hero towards the mouse pointer. During the tutorial, we can switch between absolute and relative controls by clicking on the button on the left panel. Cool. Pause in the game. You can always press escape to pause. You need to pause the game if you want to relax safely and check your current situation and inventory. Right at any time. Right click on an item in your inventory. Also pause the game. You also get a pop up with the description of the item. Walk. You just pause the game by clicking. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because time to fight to wear without being encumbered. A sword. You have picked and equipped a short sword. Most heroes use a sword to stop a foe. You can just direct your sword towards a monster and move into them. You can also left click to activate your brand new short sword. Launch forward for a more powerful attack. It has a cooldown. I don't see the cooldown anywhere but on screen. But I can just move into people. It's that you've killed a cobalt. Well done. Did you notice? You sort of turn black after you hit? Yeah, most weapons have a brief cooldown period when you use them. Weapons cover is black during cooldown. You cannot use weapons during cooldown. If you kill, when you kill any creature, make sure to check out the items they leave behind. Is this? Oh, I was afraid those things are gonna hurt me. I have a key. Keys like this can unlock doors. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. The door is barred. There is no lock or handle. You must be. Operate by some other means. A chest. Lo and behold, your first treasure chest. Walk into the chest and open it and explore its, con its contents. The treasure chest contains a dagger. Pick it by simply clicking on it. You just put the dagger in your backpack to equip it. Click once more. It should move to the sword represented by it. How to throw. <laughs> now you have equipped your dagger, you can use it to stab, or you can throw it. Try to throw it to the sphere at the top of this room. Aim your mouse cursor and then right click. Right. Did that open the door? Explore. Successful adventures explore the dungeon carefully. On the top left you have a mini map. You can click or press tab to expand it. A potion. Left click potion in your inventory to drink it. Drag it to the viewport to throw it. Oh my god, I was blinded. Oh well. Could have used the potion instead. Look ahead. 
If you sense you would press your E key, you walk like a hand. Looking through windows like this can reveal valuable information. Just some rats, a secret room. Did you? See the room behind the window? There are some rats in there, but you see the do no door. Perhaps there's a secret door somewhere. It's a dungeon after all. A secret door would look just like a wall, but probably feels a little different. Over here. Oh, yeah, I was just pressing towards it. Basically, you need to point the direction of the enemy. Demolit of Yandor, look at this! It says fake underneath. Your objective is to find this trinket and return it to the surface. So now please make your way back to the surface. You can always right click items in your unit to expect, to expect them closely. Fake amulet. This is a cheap wooden replica of the amulet. It's not the real thing. It's just here for training purposes. Oh. Why do I need to return though? Second water. You can wait or swim through water. Be careful though. Swimming through deep water is dangerous. If you run out of air, you very well might drown. Where is my air though? Oh, I see it, I see it. Let's go there. What? A lever. A lever. Behind the barrel is a lever. It looks like it might open the door. Unfortunately, the barrels are in the way. If you have a hand free, you can use that hand to drag things out of the way. Simply click the corresponding mouse button. The right mouse button. Yeah, or I can just, you know, oh no, I can't. See, this, those are my hands, left hand, right hand. Awesome so far. Even with the top-down view, it's still pretty in-depth. Okay. Door opened. Belt. Uh-oh, looks like a troll is guarding the next area. Luckily, it is asleep. Best not engage it, try to get past it unseen and unheard, like a fart. Moving, moving makes noise, but if you are wearing a cloak, you can also hide and sneak as long as you stay close to the cavern walls. I am wearing a cloak. It's part though. How do I hide? I didn't read if I walk slowly. Remember, now that you found the amulet of Yendo, your objective is to escape. Make your way to the entrance and climb the stairs. The case is yes, the exit is here. To climb, simply walk over. The tutorial only has one floor. The real dungeon has many floors connected by staircase like this one. Damn. End of the tutorial. You survived. Cool. Time for a new game. More monsters, more gold, and some magic gear. Extra puzzles. Let's go. I can randomize my appear. Eye size. Eye color. No size. <laughs> Freckles, no thank you. Pink color. Cape color. Oh, there's a blue one. So what's your name? No, it's not Rodney. Oops, what? Done. Your equipment. 
buy beer for five gold. Didn't see any of the old man repeats. No, why not? We're just going to the dungeon. Sorry for help. Now it's locked too heavy. What is this? Some kind of a indestructible. Them arrows, though. This looks strange. Should I be on the lookout for traps? You just walk over there, you don't need to press anything for a lever. Door opened. Oh. Click. A shovel. Actually, could use this. Oh, I left a flask. Oh, I have to dodge. Okay, let's see. I don't know how to enter here though yet. What do you have a water? Got it deactivated, interesting. How is this? I have a trap when I walk over it? But I think the turret is deactivated now. Yep. But we're still at the start. Hmm. Cycles, there we go. Oh, there's a way over here. Potion is this red potion? You have no clue. That's not a good sign when you have no clue what the potion is. I guess we're just gonna have to toss it. Door opened. Ah, oh, heavy. What? Oil, oh my god. Bosk of oil. Highly fun, we'll use wisely. I don't think I can destroy. No, I can't. Wow. We left everything on open. Let's hope that 
opens the shit here. Oh my god, that damages. What is this? Sense to next thing. Can I get hurt by this? No. Auto loot, always cool. I'm running so, so bravely. I don't know. What's gonna happen? Is this teleportation? I don't even know what teleported. Man, this game is so in depth. Well, game is paused. I shall save and quit, but damn, it's cool. Okay, I'm Dink said this was unexplored on Avebat TV. Rate the video and follow the channel, guys. Thank you for your support. Thanks for watching. See you next game. Automation music is awesome as well.